Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this video series on uh, studying masters in Netherlands. So we have been doing short videos about different streams of masters in Netherlands. So in this video, I'm going to talk with Gokul, who is doing masters in civil engineering and geosciences in TU Delft, Netherlands. Uh, we have a lot of study associations, especially in the uh, civil department. Uh, I think each uh, study track itself has a uh, specific or, or a single uh, association or, or a study group. Uh, maybe study group is uh, common between civil engineering as a track and also geosciences as a uh, branch of study, but each uh, specific track as a, a study association. So in that association, they organize activities, like I said, you know, company, they invite companies over to uh, give uh, presentations and lunch lectures, but uh, the study associations organize uh, group study activities like they reserve a, a group study hall and then uh, you can go there and uh, have free coffee and uh, study with your mates and friends. And, uh, and I am also involved in one of uh, the study associations. So they have a yearly newsletter and I'm working as an editor, you know, to publish uh, some articles about alumni, alumni uh, and about uh, current activities that is going on in the department and so on. Okay, uh, so maybe I missed it. Do, did you mention the name of the study group? Yeah, uh, so the uh, study uh, association is called uh, the underground, the underground, sir. Uh, okay. So it's it means the underground. Okay. So and uh, one more the the entire geosciences uh, study group is called the MV. So okay. the, so maybe we'll leave the links in the description yeah, below I so can, that you can click on it and have a look. Yeah, you can. I can uh, give you the links. So. Okay. And you can and them. you can also contact Gokul if you want. I will also leave the description of his contact details below. So try to ask him responsible questions because everyone is busy and don't ask uh, some very simple irrelevant questions. Uh, so for my batch, so it's 2019 because I heard that it has changed uh, a bit for this year. Uh, so you should uh, definitely look uh, in Tudel's website for that. So the perspective from my batch, we had uh, 18,750 euros for per year for tuition alone and then uh, the living expenses were, were around uh, 10,000 euros uh, per year so that is all without any funding opportunities so roughly this counts around 25 lakhs in Indian rupees so which I found was really good because uh, when you compare it with the U US or other universities uh, it's uh, the the especially the tuition alone goes to 20 to 30 lakhs uh, so that's quite nice but uh, of course there are uh, other funding opportunities like scholarships uh, I, I I agree that scholarships are really difficult to get through TUDF but nevertheless you know I recommend everyone to apply for any scholarships that they are eligible for because you know it's you you should always try your luck and if you pass through it's it's a really uh, good opportunity but although uh, i'd say that uh, i did not receive any scholarship but uh, uh, there are some uh, other funding opportunities where, where you can work part time uh, within the university for example i've been working as a research assistant uh, under a professor for uh, from march 2020 so in this role, you basically get paid by the HAR. So basically, which is like you can work maximum 16 hours a week and you get paid around 14 euros uh, with taxes. So without taxes, it's around 12 to 13 euros. Uh, and so it gets around like 400 to 800 euros you can maximum earn uh, with this opportunities. And you can also... Uh, try to find some teaching assistance opportunities where you help the professor with the course. For example, you correct assignments or you form formulate uh, assignments. You, you can also 
try to help him with the question paper and all all such things the hali rate is all, almost similar to this also but uh, i would i'm i'm saying that to get these opportunities you have to be really really uh, proactive and interact with the professors and also your study associations uh, they also post uh, these opportunities online for you to apply and i recommend to do this if not other opportunities because you know it's uh, you, it's also really closely related to your studies and it is beneficial for you as a work experience in such and there is also another organization called stud delft so which also of, offers part time jobs uh, in tudel but this organization is run by students itself so that's also really nice but uh, but they are not really they don't have a lot of opportunities but there are limited opportunities uh, for international students i would say and uh, i don't recommend people to uh, get other part time jobs outside the university because you know the study load as an international student is really high you you uh, pay a lot of money and then you come here and the important goal is to study so that is what is your should be your first priority and uh, i would say that no matter what the part time job is do not take it uh, in your first quarter so the first 2 3 months uh, because you need to understand the course uh, the study load and the city and settle down a bit before you know trying to keep yourself busy and so i'll say that get comfortable and then explore these options yeah that's okay. that's that's it okay uh, so thesis for uh, civil engineering department is almost 40 ects so that's around 8 uh, to 9 months uh, time period so basically around 3 quarters uh, so 3 three, 3/4 three of your second year and uh, so there are two types of thesis and one is industrial thesis as you said and another one is uh, more research uh, based thesis which is with the university so you get to uh, work more in the university maybe in the labs uh, and you can uh, make a, like a research paper also out of it that's also a possibility so uh, so with the with, with either of the thesis you need to have at least uh, five supervisors so three should be your main supervisors and two should be your additional examiners so uh, the main supervisors you have a daily supervisor and uh, two should be your uh, expertise supervisor so they should be having experience in the same field that you're working on so uh, when when going to talk about industrial thesis especially so yeah i agree that uh, you can earn um, money during uh, an industrial thesis like 8 to 9 months the range of money I, i as far as i know is around 700 to 1000 euros so it it should come around maybe to 5000 to uh 8000 euros also 8000 to 9000 euros so that's around maybe let's say yeah it's around uh, 6 lakhs 5 to 6 lakhs which you can uh, take back but uh, it also depends on what you want so Uh, because uh, if you want to go work for a company right after your, right after your studies i would recommend to do an inter, uh, industrial thesis because i've seen a lot of people uh, doing an industrial thesis but uh, but also that also helps because you can also combine your internship with your thesis and also uh, i've seen a lot of people who are doing that uh, getting offers right after their uh thesis to work in the same company so that is also an advantage of doing an in industrial thesis because you know uh, a company has already invested a lot on you and they want to uh max uh, uh, utilize the maximum amount of you so that's also a good opportunity which you can explore and uh, i would i would not say that uh, tutorial thesis is bad but uh, it is it is good in its own way because uh, if you want to go into research or do a phd 
this I recommend this highly because uh, you get to create a like a good quality journal paper out of it. Uh, if you're really focused, you do an additional thesis, you do a thesis, you can combine them to have a really good experience in research. And of course, it's not that you can't go to go work for a company after that because you are there. There are always uh, research based roles in many companies in the Netherlands, which is become, becoming more popular right now. The uh, research and development departments in various companies are growing and you would really get an opportunity over there also. Yeah, uh, I can totally vouch for that because even I did not choose to do a uh, industrial thesis. I did a thesis with uh, the university itself and it helped somehow to because I had in my mind my first priority was to go for a PhD. So it kind of I felt that it benefited me to have uh, finished my thesis, also published a paper in a conference and that helped me when I was applying for the PhD. So it's like a recommended path. Like if you want to do a PhD, it will be better to do with the university, but you never know. Like sometimes you also have a good research in a industry that might also help, but it's just our experience. Okay. Uh, so I would say, uh, again, uh, coming to context. So uh, civil engineering and geosciences department I would say it has its fair share of uh, international students, EU, non-EU, and Indian also. Uh, I have many Indian and international peers across uh, various study tracks, for example, structural engineering, environmental engineering, or uh, water resources management, because there's a lot of tracks, I think almost around 10 to 12 tracks. So that's really diverse and there is a lot of Indian uh, students studying and personally in my track there are uh, another uh, four students so including me five students out of the 40 so my track strength is only 40 students so it's really a clo close knit group and I would say that uh, almost 30 percent uh, 12 to 15 students are uh, international students at least and there is a good mix of Dutch and international, so uh, it's a really nice group because uh, whenever you get to do uh, a group assignment, uh, you'll always be paired with the Dutch uh, plus an international student group, and that I would say it's really cool and uh, because you get to exchange your culture, language, uh, and also your identity, you know, you get to know more about each other. And I would say the overall atmosphere is uh, really uh, welcoming and inspiring also because you get to meet people from various parts of the world and get to work with them in many group assignments and projects because, for example, I got to know my one of my best friends uh, from my course is from Argentina. So he he has five years of work, work experience and he's currently doing his master's along with me. And it's really cool, you know, you get to, you get to make really good connections and they will be helpful in your, for you in your future. And social life, I would say <laughs> it's really funny when you talk about social life because uh, since COVID-19 crisis, there was uh, actually no social life at all. I was just uh, staying in my house, just going out for cycling or or for a walk or maybe meeting of meeting some friends maybe monthly once or twice. But uh, I actually things are improving right now, and I started going out to to my friends' places and to restaurants or cafes, you know, to have a coffee and then have a chat, and that that is really good. And I would say also there's a good Indian community here in Delft, like various associations like ISA you might know, and also uh, DISA. So that's the uh, international student uh, society so that is also really really cool and they all also organize a lot of fun events like uh, for festivals like Holi, Diwali and all that uh, things it's it's really fun and uh, it's really cool you know when, when it's normal situation I would say that uh, Delft is really uh, on the move always yeah Okay, so this is a really difficult question, I would say. 
because uh, in a short time you know you can't really decide upon what you like or dislike about more more even you can't decide about what you dislike about something because uh, there's always a lot of uh, uh, bad bad experience or difficult experience i would say but you know when you come out of the experience you really look back and see that you enjoyed it and then it was worth it and that's what i would like to say so the th- thing i like the most is maybe the uh, friendliness and the welcoming nature of the professors fellow students and both dutch and international and especially in my my study group my st- study track there was a really cool event every month uh, that's called uh, geo drinks so uh, in that event we used to uh, meet uh, everyone like every fort all the 40 students plus the professors uh, in in a place called geo corner in the department and then we used to have drinks pizza there used to be geo drinks plus plus every two months where you get free pizza and you, you get to have some drinks have a conversation with your professors really informal and uh, really cool and that's that's what i like the most about my study track because there there are also a fair share of uh, difficult times and fun times but uh, i don't think i would say anything i dislike maybe i don't i don't think so i should i it, it is not fair you know to say something uh, that i dislike May, maybe i would say that okay they could have included uh, the financial assistance for international students in the first year uh, they could have reduced the uh, tuition fee a little bit uh, that 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 would have been fine but i i can completely understand you know they are also working at home and uh, trying to do their best to give us the world standard education yeah so there are a lot of uh, companies in the civil engineering in the industry in the netherlands and netherlands belgium and uk as well so there are a lot of bridging and offshore companies in which uh, a civil engineering graduate uh, from tu delft can potentially work in but uh, since you know i am in the first year i have not given much thought about the job opportunities as well but i believe there is a lot of uh, opportunities uh, out there because you know not even without even looking for it i got to know about a lot of uh, companies uh, but when when you start looking you might uh, even see a lot more than that and also one more important thing i would like to uh, say is that uh, tuel organizes a yearly uh, companies fair company fair uh, where you can uh, get to know about a lot of companies uh, and you can interact with the with the people from the company so you you can get their emails and uh you can get to know about what kind of uh job opportunities they have and then get to uh, connect them connect with them in linkedin and that's that's and i i think that's the best way to go about and you know the connections are really helpful when you are trying to get recruited so yes of course unfortunately i uh, we everyone felt that i would say not not only me so as a first year student everyone had a big difficulty you know in adapting to online education since you know everyone comes to tu delft to to go to classes and uh, because it's really excellent and uh, awesome experience uh, you know but nevertheless you you have to accept the new normal uh, since exceptional circumstances like rec- require you to force you to take these steps and unfortunately personally with my case in my study track there was some postponements of exams that were supposed to be offline so they have to be converted into online so the teachers took a lot of uh, time to do that because uh, they could not do that uh, abruptly in a in a really short span of time and that that caused a really a mess in your study planning because you would plan to do Uh, 15 ECTS every quarter, and when sometimes you get only 12, and you need to do the three in the next quarter, then you need th- then your load increases by three the next quarter. So it's like although you did the uh, study for the uh, three three ECTS in the quarter three, you need to do that again 
uh, and that was really difficult uh, but thankfully i got to uh, uh, manage it and then get through it successfully and i would say that uh, yeah that that was a good experience also i would say but it it, it was difficult although the mm-hmm. way along was really difficult once you get to the final place you you feel good that's what i would say yeah i really enjoyed talking with you as well and uh, keep doing the good work uh, you've been doing and uh, i really appreciate your videos because i was also once a student uh, who was looking uh, at your grocery store videos and then figure out figuring out what can be the uh, monthly expenses and all that it was really helpful and regarding tips i would say that have a really good uh, cv it's all it's all uh, already a lot of people have said but i would just repeating it like a really good cv and a motivation letter so in motivation letter write it yourself make it your make it your own unique uh, don't you don't need any fancy vocabulary uh, also watch some with uh, uh, motivation letter video yeah i'll yes. put it on the screen flashing on yeah. the screen and and uh, make sure to try try to tell your story and why you think that you will be a good fit for tutorial and share your passion to the motivation letter that that really connects with the professor and make sure your cv has all your details about your work experience internships projects and i would say that finally a small note maybe uh, try to inspire people <laughs> but uh, i would say that follow your heart whenever you're in doubt and never give up thinking that you cannot do something because personally i was a really average student with a 8 point gpa and i was doubting myself if i could study and i would get an opportunity to study in tudel but uh, which is a big deal because it has a state of the art research and uh, a study ranking in the world and uh, especially for civil engineering it's really highly ranked because right now it's ranked right after mit uh, in second position so that is really cool <laughs> and but you know i i i also I had a really round profile and luckily thanks to my parents and my friends they kept motivating me and yeah so never think that you are less qualified as one one of my professors used to say that if you have interest and the drive you can always uh, do something with what you want and i think sambit will agree with this yeah yeah much more important for learning i would say if you like this video then don't forget to smash the like button share this video help each other out and don't forget to smash the subscribe button if you have not yet and till next video series on masters phd and bachelors in netherlands goodbye from netherlands